I don't know if Mike's talked about it, but Jenny and Louie look really good. Oh, so good. <laughs> if you don't know, Jenny is our camper, Louie is our truck, but he got Jenny, the camper, washed and waxed for what, 300? 300 bones. 300 dollars, which is expensive, but also not near as expensive as some of the other prices we've been quoted. Okay, we're getting saddled up here and Head Where are we heading? To Pigeon Forge today. Pigeon Forge. On recommendation. Yes. Thank you all for your recommendations, whether via email or comments. We really appreciate it. We haven't done Pigeon Forge, so no. we are looking forward to checking it out, seeing some of the sights and sounds of Pigeon Forge. Um, but we need to get going. We do. We're actually late. We're actually a little late. We tell you guys all the time, if you're getting close to that checkout time, don't panic, don't rush. You're gonna forget something inevitably. So I ran up to the office when I got back from the grocery store and I was like, so we're cutting it a little close. And they're like, nobody's coming in after you. It's totally fine, take your time. Always double check if you're cutting it close. Don't rush and rush and rush. Okay. Ready? I think I'm done out here. I'm done in there. Hey, also, I am well within my 20 minute check. It took me like 10 minutes to get the inside I'm ready. I'm proud of you. You'd already done most of it. So I'll go put the slide in if we're good. Yeah. And then pack things up in there. Yeah. I look out across the water. I smell the song. Getting an escort. Oh, ooh la la. By golf cart. Okay. I have to wait. I think this is him right here. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll get you back. This is a back insight. We'll okay. get you going. We're gonna be going that way. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, follow us please. All right. This is our first time in Pigeon Forge. We've never done Pigeon Forge before. We've never before. been here, and uh, we're excited to check it out, but we really didn't make any plans. Mm -mm. So we're gonna check this RV park out. This is Pigeon Forge RV Resort. Well done. Which isn't too far from the downtown-ish area, so it's far enough away where it's really not very loud here. It's, it feels really peaceful. Like this RV park already, we've only been here a few hours, but I feel like we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's, it looks like a nice place. They got a pool up front, um, really nice looking sites. Our site, it looks like most of the sites are concrete. Okay. We had a subscriber who recommended this place uh, a week or so, week or so ago, and uh, said to check it out. And uh, we're really excited to. Thank stay you, here. Matt, for recommending because it's really nice so far. They have like airstreams here you can rent. Oh, is that what they are? The oh, last God. one. The last one may not be. Uh, it's a Spartan Manor. Maybe they're, like that. sorry Airstream people. <laughs> they may not be name brand Airstreams. They look That's cool. clever though. I mean, if you want to come like stay in a camper in Pigeon Forge, but you don't have one. Yeah, there you go. The sun is shining in your clear blue eyes. I don't ever want to say goodbye. Or maybe I don't have to. Cause it all changed. This is nice. It's got a fireplace. I know. I wonder if they turn that on because it'll probably be really cozy. Oh, it'll be real cozy. Mm -hmm. Do movies. Watch some life rerouted videos on the TV. Hey, you know what she said in the office? What? They're doing a hayride tonight -uh. with hot chocolate. Oh. I feel like that needs to happen. Probably kids of all ages. 
You mean like us because we're basically big kids? You. Oh. Fair. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? This is just right. 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 The lights are shining in our eyes. What'd you cook? Pork chops and veggies with some garlic. Not gonna and lie, it smells delicious. I think it turned out pretty good, so. Ready to eat? I'm, I'm ready to eat. We've got a gorgeous sunset outside, and I know like we can never really convey those on camera. I feel like they never turn out. But I'm excited I'm gonna go light this fire that Callie and I built. I'll be honest, Callie was not that helpful, <laughs> but I think her intentions were good. Just so you know, Callie didn't actually help. She was a good cheerleader, I guess. Here you go, light the fire. You wanna eat outside around the fire? Sure. Yeah? That's fine. It's so nice out. I bet it's about to get really cold, but right now it's really nice outside. Good morning. We've had so many people recommend Cades Cove and we're here in Pigeon Forge and we're we're not really big into the crowds and traffic so we're like what if we get out of the town for a little bit and go see Cades Cove. So I'm excited about this. We really haven't done much research other than knowing it's a driving loop and so there's some stuff to see. So going into it kind of without knowing what's going on or what to expect. We decided not to bring Callie because as you know, national parks aren't super dog friendly. She didn't have the best day yesterday. She got stung by a bee and was kind of freaked out. So we're going to leave her here. So Mike's out walking her right now. And I'm going to make some coffee and pack a lunch because when we do national parks, we love to just pack a lunch. So I'm gonna get all that stuff together and get ready to go because it is about an hour drive from where we're at. All right, so this morning we're doing this scenic loop, which is how long? 12 miles? 11 miles. 11 miles. And the guy at the RV park yesterday was telling us that you can't get off. You have to finish the loop. There are turnouts, yeah. but you can't turn around and go the other way. So once you start the loop, you have to finish it. There's like two cut throughs. He said if you get like halfway through it and uh, it's not your thing, there are like two cut throughs. But otherwise, it's just this narrow one lane road where you drive this scenic loop. I've never done it. Never really heard of it until we lived in Western North Carolina. So that's going to be our first stop this morning. That's what we're doing right now. It's gorgeous. Uh, apparently, we weren't the only ones who had the idea <laughs> to do this this morning. Hoping to see some animals maybe this morning. I'd like to see a bear. A bear? So before we lived in no Western North Carolina for the last six months, I don't think we had ever seen an elk like close up. But we saw them all the time. It yeah. was so cool. But I don't think I've ever seen a bear. I have. Have you? In Michigan. Hmm. I don't think I have. Fingers crossed. Maybe we'll see a bear today.
wet. We found a little picnic area right at the end of the loop. There's a really big picnic area. It's also the only place that we saw on the loop where you can dispose of your trash because of all the bears. So if you are curious about where to get rid of your trash, it's at the very end of the loop. We even stopped at the visitor center and she was like, nope, no trash cans. Don't put it in the bathroom either, you know, but they said the bears are such an issue that no trash cans. I think it's sprinkling a little bit. Oh, it is so good. It is really good. It's like Dr. Pepper meets Cherry Coke, I think, or Cherry Pepsi. I don't know what else we're gonna do. We looked at going for a hike, and it's, I think we can call it actually raining now. We'll yeah. see. It's also very cold. We got the shivers. All right. With I this, really wanna try I think this. this weather's moving in. We may have to call. Call it a day after this. Yeah.